She may also be passive aggressive and she may try to manipulate. She may also send flying monkeys. It really depends. Like I said, if she has somebody that's able to supply her and if people could pity her because sympathy and pity is something, sympathy and pity is still supplied to them. So if you go into contact with them and they don't really reach out to you, they could also feed off that sympathy and that pity. Oh, poor you, your daughter will no contact with you. And that's a form of admiration that your mother will take in and absorb as her supply. And your mother may also become very like mean and aggressive because she has this fantasy of who you're supposed to be as her daughter. She has this idea of who you're supposed to be. And when you go no contact, you do not fit that fantasy. You do not fit that idea. So she may become more passive aggressive. She may become more manipulative. She may send flying monkeys, right? Once again, it's really going to depend on if she has people to really be there for supply and be there to meet her unmet childhood needs. If you have a narcissistic mother, you play a role in her fantasy and her circus, right? It could also, depending on whether you were a golden child or if you were a scapegoat, usually scapegoats are the ones that tend to go no contact first because golden childs are still being, are still part of that fantasy and still playing into that circus. So it really depends. But if your mother doesn't have somebody to dump and make a scapegoat, then yeah, she may try to push and want you in her life. And she may harass you. She may try to be manipulative. And, you know, she may be thinking like, how dare she do this to me? Like I'm her mother. I'm entitled to her. I'm entitled to her resources. So it's really going to depend on like what role you were playing before you decided to go no contact. And also like the spectrum of your mother's narcissism, right? And like how much she externalizes her shame and whether she has any admiration, anyone that's around her to give her more supply also is there to meet her unmet childhood needs. If you were the only one there, then she might push and she may freak out and she may feel like she's entitled to you, your resources, your time. This is especially for daughters. I mean, in general, every daughter, almost every daughter that has a narcissistic mother ends up being her parent in some way right? Because your mother has unmet childhood needs that she hasn't gotten met and she requires other people to do that. She requires other people to give her that supply. So yeah, at the end of the day, she's going to do what's best for her and what's going to meet her needs, right? So if you go no contact, she might be like, hey, whatever. It is what it is. I have other people to supply me and give me admiration. If she doesn't care about really like how family looks like, you know, if that's not one of her big things and she might just be like, okay, whatever. Or on the other side, she may be like very like, oh my gosh, there's no way my daughter's doing this to me. 